welcome to story time with mr ryan today's story comes from the exotic waters of the amazon rain forest as one young tribal boy goes fishing with his grandfather but sometimes it's not so simple this young boy is tasked with making an important choice is it better to catch the fish so he can impress his friends back home or release the fish to preserve the integrity of the nature and the river. Let's read One Boy's Choice, A Tale of the Amazon by Suwili Menezes with illustrations by Anika Sienz. We will catch a big fish and I'll pull it out of the water all by myself. I'll show you, said the little boy to his friends. He was so excited because tomorrow he would go fishing with his granddad but his friends weren't interested. They just laughed at the little boy, as usual. Very early the next morning, the boy and his granddad set out in their canoe. The boy was thrilled to spend the whole day fishing with his granddad. For as long as he could remember, his granddad had told him stories about the different fish that lived in the great river. Granddad sat in front while the boy sat at the other end of the canoe. Smoothly they paddled the wooden boat through the deep jungle. Today was the day. He would show the other boys. He would bring home a big fish. The little boy watched the water intently. He dreamed of coming home with a really big fish. As Granddad steered them through the great water lilies, the boy said, Granddad, tell me the story about the fish that live under the water lilies, please. I have told you that story so many times, said Granddad. Besides, we must be very quiet now. It's time to put our bait in the water. If we're lucky, we'll catch our first fish. They paddled a little further and tried another spot, but still they had no luck. It was as if the river had hidden all its fish. Don't be sad, Granddad said to the little boy. We'll cast the net instead. Then you'll see how many big fish we can catch. They waited patiently for the first bite. They waited and waited and waited some more. Nothing. Okay, Granddad, said the boy, as he helped him toss the net into the water. The net had a little piece of wood attached that floated on the top of the water. When it started to move back and forth, that would mean a fish had swum into their net. Granddad and the boy watched and waited. They could see the whole river. Mesmerized, the boy kept staring at the floating wood while Granddad told stories about the different fish that lived under the water lilies. Hours passed with hardly a motion when suddenly several little fish leapt out of the water before disappearing again. Granddad asked the boy, why do the fish jump out of the water like that? Perhaps they're trying to tell us something important, said Granddad quietly. Come, let us check the net. Perhaps we have been lucky. Oh, Granddad, look at the big fish, shouted the boy. It's a water lily fish. He had never seen an arowana, but he had heard Granddad's stories about them. No, I'm afraid this one is not for us, said Granddad. We must set him free so he can swim away. But Granddad, he's the biggest fish in the net. We have to take this one. You know how important it is for me to bring home a great fish. Come, help me free the fish, and I'll explain to you why we must set him free. Gently, Grandfather took the fish out of the net. You see the little fish in his mouth, he said. They are his children. 
The male arowana are the best dads in the world. For a month, the tiny fish live in their father's mouth, where he keeps them safe. During this time, no one should catch the arowana because his children would die too. The arowana are important to us because they eat the mosquitoes that make people ill. Granddad put the fish in the boy's hands and said, you must decide what is more important, taking the fish to show your friends or letting this dad and his children live peacefully in the great river. With a little smile, the boy carefully put the fish and his children back into the water. The old man hugged his grandson. I am so very proud of you, he said. Today, you have become a really grown up boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. As it turns out, the boy made a choice to save the fish, to release it back into the wild, where it can live and where its children can live to grow up in turn. This was an important choice, and we all, too, have important choices to make every day. I hope you guys enjoyed reading this story with me, and I hope you guys enjoyed the choice our young boy made in this story. I had a lot of fun reading it with you. Please feel free to check out some of my other stories on this channel, or if you're looking for fun activities you can do from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org slash children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.